Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Back today with one of my subscribers' uh, tutorials, and it's Alex at C4D tutorial on how to go from black and white to color with a ripple effect. But you, you know, it's doing it in Vegas, so you don't need CC lens. Now, it's been done before slightly, but it does show you this way perfectly how to get it, um, you know, looking really smooth and that. So, um, Alex is brand new to doing uh, Vegas tutorials. So, you know, let's give him some nice support and uh, enjoy the video. Cheers, guys. <laughs> What's up guys, today I've got a little tutorial for you and I'll show you the start of it at the intro um, the very start of the video but let's head straight into it so first off, starting out you're going to want to get your, um, your clip I just got one I downloaded off the internet um, so drag it in Doo -doo -doo. there we go and do all the necessary steps that you normally do to make it look good or so um, it's easy to work with and then we're ready to go with the effect so I'll just get this set up and then everything should be good let's just delete the audio because we don't actually need it at the moment obviously you can just edit your audio in later on when you know when yeah, you come around to that because you don't want to have all the clip audio in. So just cut the clip down to um, the size that you want it, and then scrub through to where he gets the kill. So around here would be good. Obviously, we don't want it here because he's not actually taking the shot yet. Yet, if you look down here, so there you see the bullet's gone. So we'll just split it there, or set a mark if you want to with M. You can split with S on the keyboard. And actually, I think about it now, one thing I forgot to do is disable resample. You can hate that shit. Okay, so now split the clip where the shot is taken. And then, now previously when I've done this tutorial, um, well, when I've tried recording the tutorial or whatever, um, I've done it about, I found when doing it for about point 0.10 so if you look here it says point 0.2 so it starts at point 0.18 so point 0.28 is around about a good number let's go point 0.25 let's just go less so about 7 point 0.7 seven, uh, point zero 0.07 should I say sorry and then um, on these two first clips you're going to want to go to video effects black and white and 100% black and white straight onto both of them. Bear with me. Right, so now we've got um, black and white on both of these clips. Just copy this clip with Control C, obviously, and then Control V to paste it and drag it out next to it. Right, go to the um, video event FX and delete the black and white on this clip right now these two here these are going to want the same colour correction on them so if you use colour curve, uh, sorry, colour curve like I do then obviously just drag your colour correction onto both of these clips with um, colour curves but obviously if you use magic bullet looks then do it through magic bullet looks however you do it now with these two you're going to want to create a fade so just drag them straight over each other but if I just to zoom in a little bit more so we can see what we're doing properly if you notice um, if you go over too much it clips straight over so that means there'll be no fading whatsoever so what we want is we want about 0.06 so in other words when you've got your clip just drag it straight over but only so there's a little gap and now go to media generators if you've not got it go to view media generators go colour gradient and elliptical ring and drag that above oops let's create a new do 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 me my key humming um, a new video track let's zoom out as well let's put that on top for now because there's one thing I forgot to do um, is with these two now you've got them over go to 
uh, transitions and then gradient wipe scroll down and you're going to want circle out just drag it on top why is it doing this? circle out and drag it on top leave everything stock close it off and I'll drag this over and crop it at the end so you don't need that bit drag this clip back in but so it snaps to it so it's seamless again right now with this one obviously it looks really bad at the moment so on your generated media you're going to want to create a um, preset with the settings 59.9 and 0.220 leave these settings they're not needed and then go over to compositing mode and go to custom and then sony height map right now go um, and create another preset um, amplitude is 0.0 uh, 0.212 just pause the rest of the video for this bit because I don't want it to drag on for very long and we're on 5 minutes already right so now you've got that in <coughs> looks like this but it's not animated so what you're going to want to do is open up event pan and crop and zoom it right out it's just there we go Right, now make sure this sync cursor is enabled and go back to the start of the clip and drag this all the way up so it's tiny go towards the end so um, see where this bit comes in you're going to want it just so it fills the screen so the call fills the screen now and just drag it all the way down there we go and I go back about halfway and if you notice it won't be in line so what we want to do is just drag it in a little bit more just to assist it really and that's looking okay right so now the effect's done so just pre-render that quickly boom so that's what it looks like and then add all of your other crap into it thanks bye be sure to check my channel out Alex at C4D if it's not on my channel peace out guys